Let me tell you a little secret first. Like, it's not really a secret, but anyway. Every artist, every artist that became famous had connectors driving their fame, driving the epidemic for them. Connectors are an essential part of every art career that was launched with success. The idea of this video is kind of simple. If we can understand the process of an epidemic, if we can understand what happens when when trends occur, what happens when a fashion trend arises, what happens when a, an art trend arises, what happens, what's, what, what are the principles, the foundations for that trend to happen. If we understand those principles, we can use them and implement them in our own art career so that we can create micro epidemics around our art and hopefully sell art through that so that we can erase the question how to sell art. And so this video will be dealing with connectors. Now, connectors are highly social creatures, which is kind of ironic because I'm, I'm not really that social at all myself. I basically have two friends, two best friends, both of which are pets and both of which already died. So, so that's kind of sad and that's kind of why I suck. But anyway, Let's, uh, let's talk about connects. Let's talk about the Stanley Milgram experiment. Not the famous one that you know, the less famous one, but better one. Okay. Stanley Milgram at some point sent 160 chain letters to people who lived in Massachusetts or something. And he said to those people he gave the following instructions there's a guy a stockbroker who lives in boston and has work in sharon now you're gonna send this letter to somebody that you think knows this person and that person is gonna send it um, to somebody else somebody else until it arrives at this stockbroker and you're gonna write your name down and everybody it passes through is gonna write their name down as well now stanley milgram wanted this to happen because he wanted to see when all those letters arrived 160 letters when they arrived he wanted to see how many hands it passed through and he saw that on average it passed through five to six hands and that's where the saying comes from Everybody's connected five to six steps away from everybody else in the world. Now, what this sh saying should have been is that everybody is connected to one person five steps away who is connected to everybody in the world. Because what he saw, Stanley Milgram, and this is really interesting, this is the, this is the key to why connectors will be essential for your art career. We will also later talk about where you can find those connectors to really connect with them and to let that whole thing happen. But anyway, what he saw was that of those 160 letters, the majority of letters, the far majority of letters passed through the hands of three people. So 160 different people, but it arrived through the same three people predominantly. And so he realized, hey, wait a minute, these people, they are not normal people, they are special people. If the majority of letters arrives through three people and all the rest arrives through random people that come in and in and in, those people are special. And then he did it again and again and again and other people did it for, them, uh, for him as well. And, and the same thing happened over and over and over again. With 200 letters, 300, 4, doesn't matter. It all came down to a few people who handed over those letters. So he realized those people are connected to way more people than average. Way more people than other people are connected to. And they have way more weak ties and they know way more people. And he called them, um, or somebody else later, called them connectors. These are the types of people that have 5,000 Facebook friends and actually have those friends, not because they added a lot of Facebook friends, no, because people naturally connect with them. They are connectors, they are social creatures, they're really, those are the types of people that are the, the popular kids who didn't fail, you know? Like the, 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 the people who just 
have some kind of like yeah social talent in a way that they care about other people in a way that they that they drive need connections as some kind of food and therefore connect throughout life and you find them find them in all areas of life including the visual arts a lot of collectors a lot of dealers are actually connectors and know an insane amount of people but not only collectors just art lovers some of them are connectors now where will you find these connectors these connectors you will of course find them in all areas of the art world exhibitions museums just openings in general stuff like that um, those are the obvious ones but the interesting ones the ones where you will find most of them centered like collected almost is in panels for example when you're applying to uh, for a grant or something from a foundation a lot of those people will be connectors particular prizes competition that you can participate in the panel members there a lot of those people will be connectors if you go on instagram to a particular gallery and you look at what that gallery is following which you can do actually for free very strange but you can watch the people that they're following a lot of those people will be connectors interacting with them will be a smart tactic for you um, to implement the interesting thing of what i just told you is that all the top level artists the damien hursts the jeff Koonses, the richard princes the artists that we aspire to be that they use these marketing principles you don't see them uploading videos on youtube that is something that we smaller artists need to do but but you see them you see them operating in this way they have market mavens sneezers and connectors what i just explained working for them and doing all of that stuff there's a lot of there are a lot of marketing executives nowadays that think and that that claim the following thing that marketing is kind of almost that and that the only marketing that is truly powerful nowadays is the marketing of word of mouth they strongly believe some of them strongly believe that word of mouth is the number one marketing trick out there nowadays if you read for example purple cow of of Seth Godin he will indeed also go in that line that's one of the big marketing um, symbols of our times at this moment and so word of mouth is a really powerful trick and connectors will be essential for you if you want to enable word, word of mouth or, or want to use word of mouth in your favor now we like to think or at least i did used to that word of mouth is me explaining something that i like to somebody who tells it to somebody who tells it to somebody turns out if you understood what i said that that is not what word of mouth is word of mouth is me explaining something to a connector who then instead of tells it to one person tells it to a hundred people and has some kind of social status in a way that people actually believe somewhat more what he says and, and are drawn to what he or she says and so that is what word of mouth actually is not Instagram influencers who like send a lot of DMs to get a lot of likes, whatever. No, real connectors. Connectors who are, who are influencers in the real world. Um, you will have to enable them to work in your favor. I hope this video helped. You can always subscribe if you want more. And you see, like, um, yeah. You see, this is how much, wait, wait, this is how much of a social incapable guy I am. I didn't even introduce me in this video. My name is Dries Getels. I'm an artist. And I hope to see you uh, around. Ciao, ciao.